These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <coughs> All right, what's up everybody? It's Grim Green back here. And today we're gonna take a look at this Boro device from Vape Smarter. I actually got this in the UK in October. It was gifted to me by Vape Smarter. And I, I got it, got it home, immediately started using it, loving it. Most recently I've been using it with the NTSU. And I, and I finally, like that was so long ago, I kind of went, well, maybe I won't do a review, but I decided that I think the world would be a better place if more people knew about the mods that Vape Smarter was work was making because these are just great. It's not mechanical, it's not regulated, it's like semi-regulated in that it has a tactile wired switch, but there's a MOSFET in there to protect it from the amp load of the battery. So there's nothing to adjust, it's just like mech style, just 3.7 volts off the battery. But I love this little tactile switch. I think these are made of a uh, resin. I almost said aluminum. I believe these are made of resin. And I think I have a theory as to how these are made. Now, let me get my big dorky drip tip out of here so you can see the size of it. God, look at this hand feel. I mean, hand feel for days. This goes in the crook of my thumb right there. I generally hit it like this. I generally hit it like this. It's got plenty of airflow, big open on the front. There's that tactile switch. If anybody's been around long enough to remember the old silver bullets from about 2010, in the vape scene. This feels exactly like those old silver bullet buttons. It's not squishy. It's not clicky. It's like this weird kind of in-betweeny. And when you get up on this thing, it's just pretty. It's just pink and swirly with some like brown grays in there. There is a paw print on the back, which I love. More pink and swirliness on the back. I don't think this is wood. I think this is pure resin. And it's because I don't think this is engraved on the top. This looks like it came from like a custom resin mold, which is no joke. That means according to my theory, if this came from a resin mold, then that means that the mold needs to accommodate the tube before you can pour the resin inside of it. And that seems really complicated to do. There is a sort of uh, opening on the bottom, but this is very, very sealed shut. This is where, you know, the, the button housing is going to live. And I don't know why I took that battery out of there. It's just these finger threads on top, which isn't my favorite, but you know, like I always say, there's really no other way to do it. There is a little LED indicator down here in the clear bottom that I really very appreciate. I don't see it when I'm vaping, but I like it and I, and I like knowing that it's there. And this should theoretically work with any Boro tank billet box bridge. It's got a nice big opening. I have had no problems. This is a pink crypt tank it falls in there with room to spare. Just want to show you that NTSU has stayed obscenely clean in here. And this has clean internals, including it has a silver plated adjustable contact right here in the bottom. If my camera would focus, there you go. I knew you could do it. Boro tank, locking nut, big dorky drip tip. There it is. I mean, obviously I'm only going to enjoy a device as much as I enjoy the bridge that's inside of it. Thankfully, this NTSU is a Banging, banging restricted lung. This is one of those vapes I talk about where it all comes together. I think I like this so much because it has such like a mech type of hand feel to it. It's well balanced. I just, like I said, I place it right here. Finger comes right down. It kind of reminds me of, pardon me, grabbing like a mech mod and having that rest in my hand and coming down and hitting the button like that. It's just thoroughly enjoyable to use, to hold, to look at. I kind of just love this thing. I don't think I'm gonna like give this any like banana stickers only because each device, like this isn't something that you can just buy. Like you can't go buy the pink Boro mod. They do custom mods and sometimes they're double 18650 and single 18650 and sometimes they're side by sides and sometimes they're squonks and sometimes they're Boros and they're in different colors and different materials. And sometimes, you know, the it's engraved on the stainless steel and sometimes it's not. And sometimes they're multiple batteries and single batteries. And, you know, they're so unique that each one is, I mean, honestly, it's art. It's a little piece of art that I get to vape. I've felt this way about a lot of like 
acrylic and stabilized wood mods over the years. I used to really, really love those Axis Vapes M17s, and I felt the same way about those that I do about this. It's why I keep my leaning tree around. I mean, A, it's just one of the coolest mods that I've ever had. It's a big workhorse, and two, it just looks cool. This just looks like art, and I like having it out on my desk. That's how I feel about this device. That's how I feel about this setup. So no, I'm not going to do any like banana stickers, but I'm just going to say th they're great. They're beautiful. They're, they're little pieces of art, little pieces of art that keep people from smoking. So yeah, I think my mission here is done. I think the world is a better place when more people know about the mods that Vape Smarter is making. In an effort to curb any rambling that's about to happen, I'm gonna stop right now and say, I can't tell you exactly where to get these, and I can't tell you exactly how much they cost because I don't know. I'm assuming they're not just giving them away. And a lot of these are custom handmade products and I'm assuming will carry a custom handmade products sort of price tag. It's such a unique piece and I, I love so much having it in my collection and here's well, rambling happened. If you currently smoke tobacco cigarettes, it's time to switch. I believe in you. It's never been easier. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm going to put links to just science, just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Vape little works of art every single day. And then also no cigarettes. <coughs> it's like 1030 and then I'm uh, just going to smoke, so... There and in the link in the. <laughs>